Hey guys, welcome back to Martin James Designs. Back with another episode. I'm a little tired this morning, but I am excited because last night I hosted the first men's shop night here. Uh, where just a group of guys get together and start talking about life and how things are going in life and just kind of a little support group and then be able to work on all our projects together and, and support each other and just get creative. So um, that went down last night and it turned out amazing and I'm super excited, looking forward to more of them. Um, but I'm in the shop this morning because I want to get this motorcycle uh, started to paint. This episode is going to be all about painting. Um, I have painted a bike before in the past. Definitely was a learning curve. I've painted quite a few things, but um, I'm going to be using professional grade paint, a professional gun, and uh, yeah, we're going to paint this bike. And then uh, I'll go over the entire plan on what I'm going to be doing with Jai's bike. So yeah, let's look at it. So this is, I just actually got this table. Um, we're going to turn it into a welding table, but I'm going to use it today for this. Uh, I have my six inch sander, my three inch sander, uh, heat gun to be able to pull the, the logos off the Harley tank, different grits, um, 120 all the way up to 400, 600, wax and grease remover, and uh, yeah, just some of that stuff. These are the parts we're going to be painting. So we did originally powder coat this, but we sandblasted it and we're going to paint it the same color as the bike. These are the side shrouds. Uh, this is that um, Thunderbike Customs fender. As you can see, it needs some body work here just from the welds and whatnot. So I'm going to be trying my hand at that. Haven't done it before. Uh, we're keeping the fender stock and the gas tank. And we're going to be stripping this down, removing the Harley logos. And we're going to be putting these same logos I put on this bike here. But we're going to be doing white. So it's going to be a nice old school white Harley Davidson there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start by taping these uh, gas tank holes off, getting this thing blown and cleared off. And I'm going to start sanding all the or removing the decals here and I'm going to start sanding this down. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start working on that. <laughs> I got this the body filler put on in any imperfections here and there was a whole bunch of uh, pitting from the welds around here so that's all smoothed out now then I'm going to primer it with a high build primer it will get rid of all these metal scuff marks and then any other body work it needs after the primers on we'll do another small coat uh, but this is a good solid base. Okay, now that I got all the parts sanded down uh, to 220, got the clear coat off all the existing paint, got all the Bondo work done on the base of the fender. Next up, I'm gonna sand every other part down to 400, wax and degrease it, and then the next step is get this uh, first coat of primer on. So as you've seen yesterday, I got everything sanded down 400. It's ready to go. I'm going to prime everything and then let that dry and see if we need to uh, do any more Bondo or any wet sanding or anything. But over here, I've got my Devil Best guns. I've upgraded to more of a like a semi-professional gun. I'm using Shop Line. It's by PPG. So I'll be using this uh, multi-purpose primer with the hardener. And then I have a base of fleet black it's just a standard black and then we're going to be using the urethane clear um, this stuff we're going to be putting on last after i get the logos on the bike after the base coat so my plan is to use the powder coat rack get it put in here i just changed the filters got brand new filters in here wiped the walls down vacuumed and sprayed the whole floors <laughs>
I got three coats of primer on. I haven't used that gun before, so uh, I had a couple runs. I got a run on the gas tank and one on the front fender. Uh, I just had to keep on figuring out the adjustment. I didn't have the fan wide enough, so it was uh, shooting too much paint in one area. So once I got that figured out, I, I, I got a good feel for the gun, so it worked out good. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let this stuff dry, and then I'm gonna just wet sand some areas uh, that um, had some runs. There's the run right there. I'm gonna wet sand that out. There's one on the front fender too. Um, but no, it went on nice and smooth. Uh, it's gonna look good. I noticed uh, some little pitting in there. So I'm gonna put a little more Bondo in there once I get the uh, primer cured. So next step is to wet sand and then get to uh, the base coat. Okay, I'm back in the garage, just sanded the second coat of Bondo down. There was a few little pitting areas, like if you see right there, I just filled them in. I noticed a few of them places and there was a little uneven around the lip here. But I got it all smooth now, hit it with 400. Wax and degrease these parts and I'm gonna start mixing up the black. Okay, this is one to one. One part reducer, one part base coat. We're gonna do a one to one here. New six. We're gonna do a reducer, which is one part as well. We're gonna do that. Mix that up. I put uh, three coats of the base black on. It turned out really nice. There's like no orange peel. I feel like I got the gun dialed in with the perfect fan and pressure. Um, yeah, so let's just have a look at it. Looks pretty good. And then I just have the center console drying here. There's a few little imperfections, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to wet sand them out. I'm just gonna do a little quick wet sand on them uh, before I put the clear coat on. Yeah, so compared to the last bike I painted, I feel like I did a lot better of a job on this one. Uh, more attention to detail. Um, I'm just trying my best. I'm not the greatest at Bondo and stuff, so um, for the most part, it turned out good and I learned some things along the way. So I'm going to let this stuff harden and, uh, before I can wet sand it. And then I'm going to, uh, while I wait, I'm going to head down to my art studio and I'm going to make these, uh, these logos for the bike. We're going to make these exact logos. So I have a silhouette machine that cuts, uh, decals and I'm going to measure this out and we're going to go make these stencils because we're going to do, uh, white on Jai's bike. It's going to go black tank with white logo. It should look pretty good. So I'm going to go do that. We'll just do a quick time lapse, get those uh, stencils made, and then we'll head back to the shop and get them on the bike. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm just clear coating the shrouds and the front fender right now. Uh, I gotta redo the gas tank, unfortunately. Just with the way the logos went and uh, I tried to wet sand it out and it won't work. So I'm gonna clear all this stuff and then I'm gonna sand the gas tank back down and then uh, we'll see how it looks. <laughs> Okay, back in the shop today after working on getting this uh, tank completely sanded down and redone. I got the base coats on it and um, as you guys seen I made the uh, logos already or the stencils so I'm going to get these put on the bike and we're going to go through this whole process again. All the other parts are clear coated except for the gas tank and the center console. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get these stencil, Harley Davidson stencils on the bike and get it clear coated and then we're going to be complete. A little bit of wet sanding. So uh, let's jump into it. So the base is on, gave it a little wet sand in some small areas, uh, but all that will cover with the clear coat. Turned out nice. Um, I had to literally sand the entire tank down and redo it all, um, unfortunately. But the nice thing about having uh, the lift here with the bike and also that I'm doing the paint is I get to mock it all up. Sometimes when you put the bike down on or you're working on the tank with a logo or a stencil, it's uneven. You don't really know what way the tank sits. So by putting it on the bike, I'll be able to line it up perfectly and then we'll remove it and get the white logos sprayed. So um, yeah, I, right now I got the stencils there you've seen me make. We're gonna get these mocked up the way we want them and uh, start mixing the paint. So I'm trying to, you would assume that you would have the motor logo uh, level, but it actually makes everything look cockeyed um, based on the angle of the tank. So you actually want to be able to have the logo a little uneven that counters the shape of the tank. That's my opinion anyway. Um, and we're also putting a two inch tank raise on this. So it's actually going to be lifted up even more, which I think that the writing is going to be perfect. I don't think it looks good when it's perfectly straight. Um, it does look good when it has a flow to it. If you look on this bike here, I feel like I put it, it's not perfectly level. It looks better that way. So uh, that's my reasoning anyway. You could do it any way you want, um, but that's how I'm doing it. Now I'm using just a, uh, it's for applying decals. <laughs> You can see I press tight all along here. It's nice and solid. Now I'm gonna seal off all the way around and uh, we're gonna pull this tank back off and spray it in, uh, in the booth. So let's get the other side put on. This time it worked. I was way more patient 
I literally let it dry for like four hours. Then I came back and peeled everything off. Uh, so I just need to wet sand a few little areas, just touch up some minor imperfections. You can see here, just a tiny little bit of things right there. Uh, but that's it. Uh, then it's, I'm gonna clear coat it. So we're pretty much ready to go here. found um, funner things to do than wet sand. So I think it's probably best that I bring some help in. Um, Hi. What are you gonna do? Sand. You gonna help me sand? Yes. All right, I got a helper. So we're gonna get these parts sanded so we can polish them and see the end result. All right, Char, you wanna get to it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, keep getting it wet. Okay, now get this wet down here. Okay, now hold the sandpaper like that and then lay it flat and then go up and down. There you go. Isn't that the dry part? No, that's why we get it wet. Oh. Just like that. Am I done? Are you done? <laughs> no, look, look behind you. See all those parts? We have to do all of those parts. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, it's not that entertaining. So we will get to the next step. Back in the garage this morning, after uh, me and my little helper got the wet sanding done on the bike, Tyler from Medill Detailing, he showed up uh, last night. He did some work on the Outcast on one of my episodes, if you guys remember him. Uh, but he just gave me a crash course on polishing there was way more to it than i ever thought but we spent an hour or so going over it all and he was nice enough to lend me his product so i figured i'd show you guys what i'm going to be working on today to get this paint complete all the parts have been wet sanded uh 3000 there is no orange peel at all i'm pretty happy with how it turned out um so this is all ready to go i'm just going to do some wax and degreaser get it clean and then these are our products. He's got me doing it in like three or four stages. So I'm gonna start off with the heavy compound, work my way up to the correction and then make um, my way all the way to the finishing. So I got separate pads and everything for this. I'm not gonna go into great detail on this. This is pretty boring stuff for the most part, um, but we'll just do a time lapse and uh, get this stuff polished so we can see the end product. <laughs> is complete and oh my god was that was that a challenge for sure it was uh, a lot more work than I anticipated but I learned a ton of things and I'm so excited to do it again because all the mistakes I made this time that I corrected I know I won't make next time and I learned patience and I learned a whole bunch of things with this experience so um, the end result was absolutely amazing, um, especially for my second time painting a bike and the first time set up in the shop. So 
Uh, I do look forward to painting more stuff in the future. Um, I got the gas tank completed and the front fender and the, the center console. I still have to wet, or sorry, I still have to polish the rear fender and the two shrouds, but I'm exhausted. I figured I'd just get this video out there. Next episode, we'll be able to see everything. Um, but what a, pro what a process for sure. Uh, the bike's coming along really good though. I just have to powder coat a few more parts. All of the parts have finally made it in. The exhaust, forward controls, um, the Dakota digital gauge, all of those things. So we're gonna start really assembling this bike in the next couple episodes. You're gonna see it really come together. Um, yeah, with that being said, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, even though this video was short, it sure took me a long time. So um, with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one.